Hello Copic Craft fans. I am still filling this month with some holiday cheer and I have a new digi to me from Sammy Stamps. Um, cute little poodle with a gift on her nose. Obviously I could make take the ornament away when I do my fussy cutting and make this more of a birthday or I can take the present away entirely and use this cute little poodle no matter what. So if you're tuning into this and it's February or March and you want to still use this image, this is from Sammy Stamps. She is an online digital artist. I am going to color this little poodle and the gift and create kind of a furry texture on all the puffs because I think it's probably like a little poodle or a labradoodle type dog that's got some fuzzy curly hair in those areas. And um, I'm really just going to use some yellows today so it looks kind of like a golden one. Um, you can follow along and use a similar technique on different stamps, but that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to speed it right up and then we'll take a quick pause and stick it on a card. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and base the entire poodle with my um, Y21 kind of a nice golden color. You're going to notice right off the bat that I'm coloring outside the lines. I'm going to move to my Y23 and again I'm at this point I'm using the very tip and I'm flicking that color in to add some texture and I'm only doing the body of the dog. Y26 is next going really into those shadowed areas now again flicking with small flicks and Y28 to finish off just in those darkest areas to really add to the shadows. I'm not going to blend this in because I want to see that texture. Then I'm going to go back to my Y23 and I'm going to add squiggles in all the areas where I feel like it's probably curly fur and all of the puffs. Y26 is next, adding more of those curly squiggles. This time a little more focused into the shadowed areas. Y28 to finish and again this is specifically in those dark shadowed areas. R24 is going to go on my ornament, the bow, and the kind of the wrap around the present. R29 to add some shading. And R59 to go into the deepest shadows. I'm going to blend that back with R24. Tiny bit of Y28 on the tip of the ornament. And then G17 and G28 on the rest of the present and blending that back together. I fussy cut that out and then I'm going to add it onto a card. So I have a card base and my card front. I'm using the Express um, glue pens to get um, the paper and then also the dog. I love that fine tip on the glue. And then of course I'm going to peel back up because I do that all the time. That glue actually sets very fast so I did have to do quite a bit of peeling and repair work on that to get him stuck back down and then add a few little bits of bling and good to go. One more holiday card ready to go. I'm teaching you all of my bad card making habits, so <laughs> don't always follow me. I have some horrible habits of picking things up that are already glued down, so I apologize. That's a terrible habit that I need to break. I hope you are having a wonderful December if that's the time that you're watching this. If not, I hope you're finding some fun techniques along the way any time of the year. That fur texture is so easy and quick. This little guy came together really fast. So no matter what time of year you're watching this, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Sammy Stamps, fun digital artist. Um, I hope you have a happy, colorful week. And we'll come back and join me again next time.